Okay, so um, I think that question seven and eight are quite similar in that aspect. So um, let, let's have a look at how negative numbers work and let's come back and see if we can answer these questions. Okay. So one way in which you can think of negative numbers is, is through this hot air balloon idea I've got here. So we've got a hot air balloon that um, as it rises it goes, it counts up numbers and potentially um, we could also go into the negatives if it's sunk. If we don't assume zero's ground level, it's just the height at which it starts, it can go into the negatives. Okay. Now I like to think of, of this in terms of hot air being positive numbers and um, sandbags being negative numbers. So for example, if I blew two bursts of hot air into my hot air balloon, it would rise and it would end up at uh, 2. You can see it's at the level plus 2 now. And if I give it another blast of hot air, it would go to 3. And they're like our positive numbers, so when we're adding, we go up in the number line, we get greater. If I add a sandbag to my balloon, that's going to make it heavier. If I add put a sandbag on it, it's going to weigh it down, so my hot air balloon would sink by 1. If I added another two sandbags to my hot air balloon, it's going to sink down two spots. And I'll be end up back to zero. Okay, so th that kind of that idea helps us to understand the kind of numbers. I think. I think. Let's just delete those for the moment. Oh. So if I uh, had the calculation, something like uh, four plus minus two. Okay, let's consider how that is. So that means it's like my hot air balloon is at four. And I'm adding on two negative things. So I'm adding on two heavy weights. So I'm adding on two sandbags to my hot air balloon. So that means my hot air balloon was at four, and I've added two negative, I've added two negative ones, or I've added negative two. And I'm gonna sink. My hot air balloon's gonna sink down. So my answer I'm gonna end up on is two. Okay. If, if I consider myself on 2 now, and I did the answer 2, and I added on negative 5, I added on 5 sandbags, 2 plus minus 5, I'm adding on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sandbags, so I was at 2, and now I'm going to go down five spots, haven't I? So let's go with that. One, two, three, four. My balloons had to sink and I've ended up at minus three. So two plus minus five gives me minus three. Okay. Um, I can do all sorts of combinations of using hot air and um, sandbags to help me understand. Let's have a look at a couple more. So, I've got the calculation here. Well, let's position my uh, balloon. Let's position after after some hot air and some sandbags. I'm now floating at the number four. Okay? And I'm now going to do the calculations. I'm on number four. And I want to take away some sandbags. So, I want to take away minus three. So, I'm subtracting some weight. So, if I take off one two, three sandbags from here. The weight is, if I've chucked them overboard and they're not, I'm actually going to end up floating upwards. I'm actually going to go up. So kind of four minus minus three is the same as really doing. I'm actually going to float three upwards from four. So I'm actually going to end up one, two, three up. So I'm actually going to end up on seven because I've taken away some sandbags here. Okay? I've taken away some sandbags, so that means I've got less weight, so I'm actually going to go up. So taking away a negative amount is the same as adding on an amount. 
let's get rid of some of these sandbags here let's get rid of that writing here let's say I'm on 7 now like I'm here and I want to take away plus 2 well that works in the same way I'm taking out some hot air if you can imagine taking away some hot air so kind of almost letting it out of the hot air balloons I'm taking away 1 because that's a positive each one of these is plus 1 isn't it plus 2 I'm taking away a positive amount so if I'm taking away a positive amount that's the same as way as me just doing 7 take away 2 because I'm actually taking out hot air so there's lots less hot air in the balloon so my balloon is going to sink by 1 2 places so in effect my answer is going to be 7 minus plus 2 is going to end up pointing at 5 let's use that idea let's go back let's go back over here so 7 plus minus 1 so 7 plus a sandbag means I'm going to go down to 6 if I'm on minus 5 and I add 3 more sandbags I'm actually going to go down even further so I'm going to end up on minus 8 let's see 4 minus minus 3 so I'm going to take away 3 sandbags this is my 3 sandbags I want to take away 3 so I'm going to end up going upwards aren't I so I'm actually going to go 3 higher than 4 takes me to 7 and if I have a look at this one I'm on minus 5 I'm taking away 7 sandbags so I'm actually going to float up 7 spots if I'm taking away sandbags I'm going to float up 7 spots it's going to take me to plus 2 we can use the same idea when we make these what do I have to add 5 to? where would I have had to be if I end up on 2 when I've added 5? well I have to have ended up started on minus 3 would have had to, minus 3 going up 5 spaces takes me to 2 it might help if you've got a number line here if I'm on minus 8 here I had to add what to get to 6? I have to add 8 to get to 0 and I have to add another 6, I have to add 14 to get to plus 6 what do I have to add to minus 4 to get to minus 8? Well, if I was on minus 4 and I had 4 more sandbags I would sink down to minus 8 and what would I have to do here to add to minus 6? what would I have to be? if I added 6 sandbags I would have to start it on 18 in order to get down to 12 you might want to have a check back and check you understand what's going on with the sandbag it might be helpful to draw these out with a number line um, have a look and see what you think Okay.